Hey, this is Sam Black with my third match with Big Valakut in Modern. I'm on the play, and I have a good hand, medium good hand. I'm going to keep it. Um, can't cast Abrupt Decay right away, but um, I can likely cast it on turn three after casting Grapple. Yeah, because I can just get back the Wooded Foothills. Um, so I'm going to go Valakut, Wooded Foothills, and then, assuming I don't draw anything relevant, Grapple, and then probably Wooded Foothills again. Um, the Wooded Foothills will get Stomping Ground the first time, and probably Blood Crypt the second time. Playing against Infect again. Not what I would be hoping for. Alright, so my opponent knows that I have an abrupt decay. I guess this obstinate Baleoth wasn't a bad draw because I can Eldritch Evolution it. So it lets me tighten faster. Wonder if I'm just dead. Looks like I might just be dead. Okay. So So if I cast Abrupt Decay on one of the Glistener Elves, then I just die to a pump spell on the other one. If I don't cast Abrupt Decay, I go to 9 poison, and I can't really win. I think my best chance is to just take the Seder Wayfinder and hope my opponent doesn't have a pump spell, and I just block. Cinderglade. No, I'm probably dead. I'll be very surprised if I get a turn. I got a turn. All right. Well, interesting. So I could traverse for spell skite. I do have four types. That's probably what I should do. I can block one and go to nine. Oh. Alright, got punished. I guess Baloth would have been better. Still think it was right to play Spell Skate, though. Alright, so. All of these come in. All of these come in. 
This comes in. Once again, cut Tassiger, Reveler, Unburial Rites, Thrag Tusk, Obstinate Baloth, Shikana, uh, Splendid Reclamation. Gold Moldaya and a couple of witnesses. And one grapple, one grizzly salvage. I should have a ghost quarter in here. Uh, I have to mulligan, even though that hand had all of my best cards. I clearly need land. Um, all right, I have a lightning bolt and a Malira, so I don't think I can mulligan this hand. I have to just hope to be able to scry into a land that finds green mana. My opponent's on six. Put this in the bottom. Block. I still want to block. It's not the right land. One of the few that doesn't get me out of this. Still blocking. No. All right, not blocking anymore.
I guess you can make a case that this is all for the best because once Malaria comes, no, no, I just need Malaria to be in play. Um, Spouse is buying me a lot of time to get Malira down. All right, we did it. Um, I can get Cinder Blade here. And then I can search for my over forest. Oh no. All right, fine. That's fine. I didn't need Malaria this turn. I'll just play Malaria next turn. really like to life from loam, play Wooded Foothills and then Malira, but I shouldn't mess around with running into another spell pierce, given that I'm just dead if I get hit again. So here's Malira with a spell skit to protect it. Now we're playing a whole different game. Those don't do anything. Take no damage. All right. Let's get another Cinder Glade, I think. Well, let's see, I could get black. I could just cast Shriek Ma. But I think I just want to cast my green spells and cast my needle dead next turn. I 
guess that was wrong. I should have gotten a land that can be untapped next turn in case this gets countered. This card doesn't matter very much. Stomping around. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Need my opponent to not be able to dismember Malira. That still doesn't do anything. Okay, so I think I'm better off grappling and replaying Spell Scare rather than playing Primeval Titan this turn. Tap drawing. I was supposed to be able to. I was, it would be better if I could abrupt decay this turn so that I could abrupt decay my opponent's spellscape, but it's not important. I just forgot for a moment that, that was my plan. like my opponent hasn't been paying attention to the fact that my life total and poison counter status is not changing when I get attacked by the Sync Moth Nexus. Yeah, that's fine. Wasn't planning to block it. Alright, so now I'll cast Primeval Titan. traverse right now. Hmm. 
Maybe I'm supposed to just get Cinderglade and Traverse for another Titan, but I don't know that it matters one way or another. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. Um, my opponent didn't pay two life to save the Cluster Elf. Traverse while my opponent can't spell Pierce, I guess. Oh, I didn't have Delirium? That's stupid. Oh well. I'll get a mountain. Attack for one. Yeah, I still have Malera in play. Alright, Malira is very impressive against Infect. I know that I've seen people use Malira um, in sideboards sometimes. It doesn't happen a lot because it's so narrow, but it really does get the job done in this matchup. Um, I almost want to keep the... Um, Grapple and uh, Grizzly Salvage just in the off chance that I hit Malera off of them. Maybe I could cut Scape Shift for Grizzly Salvage. Um, the thinking being that I'm much more likely to win by just establishing that kind of lock than by actually comboing. And then I can cut Eternal Witness for Grapple. And then just my plan is to get. Spellskate or Malira in play. Backup plan, kill all my opponent's creatures. Alright. This hand has the ability to accomplish both of those plans. Green. Get red black. Hope that my opponent can't twisted image spell skite and kill me. Sign. Not blocking, because I want my spell skate to live through Anger of the Gods. Green said that I can evolution.
Pulsator Wayfinder. Two. Actually, I'm going to fetch a mountain. Using Sator Wayfinder to get to the point where I can evolution it next turn to get Moira. Grizzly Salvage, take Eternal Witness, Grudge in the Graveyard. Um, play another Spell Scary so that I'm protected from Twisted Image. Uh, I should have cast Evolution first to play around Spell Pierce. That was. Stupid. That's really stupid. That's kind of stupid enough that I want to just pass with Ancient Grudge up. But I guess if it gets spell pierced, I can just witness it, but that's so slow. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Right, my opponent is aware of Ancient Grudge. My wayfinder. And then I'll just get Malira. Like this for another stomping ground. back Titan. Can't think of any reason not to attack with Malera. Titan for two Valakets. Alright. That was kind of sweet. My passport configuration actually seems not that bad. Um, obviously it's lucky to draw Spell Scatter Malera to some extent, but I'm pretty good at searching for them in a reasonably timely fashion if my opponent's draw isn't great. And I have a lot of stuff to slow them down. Um, it's actually all kind of exciting. <laughs>